CES 2022 brought with it hundreds of exciting new products from the biggest tech brands and companies in the world. Although a physical event this year, a lot of the exhibitors took part virtually, but that didn't stop us techies from getting lots of awesome announcements. From 8K TVs and flagship phones, new laptop chips to clothes to wear in the metaverse, along with plenty of car reveals and electric vehicle developments. And as ever, there was lots to get excited about. But let's kick off with the big boys in the world of gaming. Nvidia made several major announcements, the main one and the one we'd all held our breath for being the unveiling of the long-rumoured RTX 3090 Ti graphics card, which will be released soon. They also revealed the RTX 3050 GPU for desktops, which launches on the 27th of January, and RTX 3070 and 3080 Ti processors for laptops, which we can expect on February the 1st. Along with over 160 gaming and studio GeForce-based laptop designs, plus new desktop and laptop GeForce RTX accelerated content. In terms of games, Nvidia announced 10 new RTX games that use GPU accelerated ray tracing and or Nvidia DLSS. Nvidia also announced that they'll bring GeForce to Samsung smart TVs. And they also announced Drive Hyperion, which is part of their autonomous driving solutions. This includes high performance computer and sensor architectures for smart vehicles. Over to Intel, and they use CES to announce their latest 12th gen Alder Lake for laptops, which features the company's new hybrid architecture. Top of the stack is the Core i9 12900HK, with its 5 GHz boosted speed clock, offering 28% faster gaming over its predecessor, and which Intel boldly claims is the fastest mobile processor ever. Intel's hotly anticipated ARC GPUs for laptops were announced. We were told that they've already started shipping these first-gen Alchemist GPUs to OEM customers for desktop and laptop systems, including Acer, Asus, Gigabyte, Samsung and MSI. As Intel are known for their CPUs, the ARC GPUs are a bit of a big deal for Intel, allowing them to incorporate their new XE graphics architecture into discrete laptop and desktop GPUs and have a go at taking on the big boys in the graphics market. We promise support for high-level gaming and some creative features, including hardware accelerated ray tracing. But when we can actually get one in our hands, we don't quite know yet, so watch this space. We also got a reveal of the new flagship KS series desktop CPUs from Intel, which will arrive this spring, boasting some incredible clock speeds. With Intel releasing their range of 12th generation Alder Lake processors, which caused quite a stir and took back the performance lead from AMD, it was all eyes on Team Red for its CES 2022 presentation, and it was a big one, at least for fans of laptops. Today, I'm proud to launch our AMD Ryzen 6000 series mobile processors that deliver leadership performance, battery life, and much, much more. They announced their Ryzen 6000 CPUs for laptops, which includes 13 new mobile chips in total. The first load of Ryzen 6000 powered devices will be available in February, with more expected throughout the year. These chips are based on their Zen 3 Plus architecture and use their new 6 nanometer process. AMD's new RDNA 2 integrated graphics architecture supported, along with USB 4, Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2. We did get one desktop chip, the Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, which was a refresh of the 5800X, but with 64 megabytes of AMD's new 3D vCache technology. This will be long in spring and be their fastest gaming chip. We also got a Radeon RX 6500 XT, an entry-level GPU which launches on the 19th of January. Very welcome addition where the best graphics cards are so expensive still and very hard to get hold of. And they teased us with the Ryzen 7000, true next-gen desktop CPU based on the Zen 4 architecture, introducing a new socket AM5 and using their 5 nanometer process with support for PCIe 5 and DDR5. They'll launch in the second half of this year. Elsewhere, Corsair revealed and launched the One i300, a compact form factor desktop PC packed with a 12th gen Intel Core processor and their own Vengeance DDR5 memory, which has been redesigned to be used in such a small form factor. It may be small, but it's certainly mighty. Surprisingly, though, Corsair didn't use CES to announce any new peripherals, but some of the other big names did. 
HyperX's new products included the Cloud Alpha wireless headset, boasting a massive 300 hours battery life. Wowza! They've got a slimmer and lighter design than the wired version, making for an even slicker look, but still boasting fantastic audio quality. The main headline from Asus ROG's announcements was the inclusion of NVIDIA's flagship TI GPUs into their gaming laptops, and they announced three new additions to their lineups, including the Flow, Zephyrus, and Strix. No doubt we'll get our hands on some of these in the studio to test soon, so keep an eye on our channel for that content. As for their monitors, the Swift PG42UQ and PG48UQ were quite literally their biggest reveals at 42 and 48 inches. They also revealed some snazzy peripherals, including the ROG Strix Flare 2 and Flare Animate 2, the ROG Fusion 2, 500 and 300 gaming headsets, and the Asus ROG Chakram, one of the most unique gaming mice on the market featuring a joystick, an incredible 36,000 DPI sensor, and support for up to 8,000 MHz polling rate in wired mode. MSI showed off its powerful gaming and creator laptop lineup, including Stealth, Raider, Crosshair, Pulse, and Creator Series, with Intel, Alder Lake, and NVIDIA RTX 30 Ti Series, one of which was the Crosshair Rainbow 6 Extraction Edition, a collaboration between MSI and Ubisoft inspired by the sci-fi aesthetics in the game. And it comes in two different versions, a 17 and 15 inch with either an RTX 3070 or RTX 3070 Ti. All of these laptops will be available for pre-order starting on January the 25th and should ship by February the 1st. They also announced a new range of monitors, which we'll bring you more on soon. Razer didn't disappoint, once again going for something quite different to the competition, namely their Enki Pro HyperSense, a next-level gaming chair offering haptic feedback, using monitors to shake the chair while she's gaming. According to Razer, the effects are not just limited to games, but also movies and music. Officially supported content like F1 2021, Forza Horizon 5 and Assassin's Creed Valhalla will get an enhanced experience though almost anything that would trigger haptic feedback in a controller will work. Razer Project Sophia was another head-turner they revealed, a modular gaming desk concept. Now, it's unlikely we'll ever see this device made into a mass production product, but it's very cool nonetheless. The modular nature of its computer desk would allow users to customise it to their specific needs, allowing you to simply add in what you need. They also revealed a new set of Razer Blade laptops in 14, 15 and 17 inch configurations. They do look largely like their predecessors but include larger keys, a new hinge, DDR5 RAM, 16 gigabytes of DDR6 memory and up to an RTX 3080 Ti graphics card with Intel's new 12th gen laptop processors also announced at the show. And finally, we saw the Razer X Fossil Gen 6 smartwatch with a limited edition of just 1,337 being made. They work a whole lot like the standard Fossil Gen 6 smartwatch, but with a set of special Razer watch bands and a few Razer watch faces. CES 2022 was also packed full of the latest automobile tech. There was loads of cool and interesting releases, but here's some of the best. Including BMW showcasing their colour-changing e-ink exterior paint on their all-electric iX Flow, which changes from white to black at the push of a button. It uses the same technology built into the screens of e-book readers applied to a special car body wrap. Chevy reveal their Silverado EV truck with an awesome 400 mile range, which can gain 100 miles of range in just 10 minutes through a DC fast charger. And even the Sony Group have plans to launch a company this spring to enter the electric vehicle market, looking to harness its strength in entertainment and sensors to play a bigger role in next generation mobility. Now, of course, there's loads more that we could cover here, but I'll be here all day. Keep your eyes on our YouTube channel for reviews of some of these products as soon as we get our mitts on them, including the RTX 3090 Ti and 3050 benchmarks.